everyone. Welcome to Live Interactive English. This is Karen, and this is Shane. Hello, everybody. Today we're looking at part one of the moon in different cultures, and the vocabulary、Why? words are rely, rely. Please don't rely too much on other people. Beggar, beggar. I gave the beggar some coins from my pocket. You're so nice. I know. Creature. Creature. The hunter saw a strange creature that looked like a wolf. It's you. <laughs> punish. Punish. The teacher punished the noisy students by giving them extra homework. Aww. So sad. Warning. Warning. The warning on the bottle said, "Do not drink." So we're talking about the moon in different cultures, right? Right. I think. Well, I don't think I know that. Ever since there have been men and women on the planet, they have looked up at the moon and had different stories about it.、Mm -hmm. So, of course, every culture is going to probably have a little bit. Different of a story. That's right? right, because everybody knows about the Chang or story of the moon, right? And also the Jade Rabbit. <laughs> you don't know, but there's that's the Chinese version,、oh. and there's also the Japanese legend. What's that about? About a rabbit who、oh. generously offered him itself, you、oh. know, to a beggar who was actually the man of the moon. Oh, so is that okay? You're so hungry. I will sacrifice. Sacrifice myself for you, so you will not be hungry.、Wow. So then, the man of the moon took the rabbit, and you know, to the moon, and they lived happily ever after. Well, that's nicer than the German one. I know the German one. There was a man who, instead of going to church, he was working, like collecting firewood. Okay. And because of that, he got sent to the moon. <gasps> so he was. Punished. punished, and he has to just collect firewood forever. <sighs> so that's not very cool. Okay, well, these are all very interesting stories from different cultures. Are we going to learn more? Yeah, I think so. All right, let's learn more about them. Okay, enjoy. Enjoy. The moon in different cultures. Before electric lights were invented, people often relied on the moon as the main source of light at night. Maybe that's why people everywhere noticed marks on the moon's surface and came up with legends to explain them. The story of the moon rabbit, for example, first appeared over 2,000 years ago in ancient China. The rabbit lived with the moon goddess Chang Er and prepared medicine that gave people long life. Welcome to Live Interactive English Magazine. Today's lesson is called "The Moon in Different Cultures," Part One. Hello, everyone. My name is Jeff, and I'm Mike. And if you've ever been out at night and looked up in the sky and see, seen that big white ball hanging over us, you know it's the moon. But what does the moon mean? To different people around the world, to people in different cultures, of course, it is that thing in the sky at night that we see. But it might have other meanings, maybe to poetry or romance or even myth and legend. There you go. And what the moon means,、mm -hmm. what it signifies or symbolizes for different people—that's what we're going to be talking about today. Different people, different cultures at. Different times. What does the moon mean? Anyways, let's get started. The first sentence of our article says: Before electric lights were invented, people often relied on the moon as the main source of light at night. Yes, before you could flick on a light switch at night and illuminate your room, let's say, before there were candles that could provide you a source of light. Well, at night, what could you do? How could you see? Well, that's where the moon came in. People often relied on the moon as the main source of light at night, very long ago. Now, before we move on here, let's talk about the verb rely. Okay, if you rely on something, you depend on that thing. Okay, you need that thing in some way. If you don't have that thing, you are out of luck. So, ancient people. 
before candles and before electric lights. If they didn't have the moon, they would have no source of light at night, so they relied or they needed the moon to provide that light. For example, please don't rely too much on other people. It's true, be self sufficient. Don't rely on other people because those people might just let you down. Mm hmm. So there we have the moon back in the old days before electric light. Of course, it gave people light at night, but people would also look up at the moon because, of course, the light from the moon at night is much more gentle. You can stare at the moon, and people actually started to sort of see things as they looked at the moon. It says maybe that's why. People everywhere noticed marks on the moon's surface and came up with legends to explain them. So, people all over the world in many different countries from different cultures looked at the same moon, but with those marks and the different patterns and shadows they saw on the moon, they started to make up their own stories or legends to explain them. The story of the moon rabbit. The moon rabbit. The moon rabbit. The story of the moon rabbit, for example, first appeared over 2,000 years ago in ancient China. So, this is a legend that comes from nearby. It's 2,000 years old. Please, Jeff, tell us the story of the moon rabbit. The rabbit、hmm. lived with the moon goddess Chang'e、oh. and prepared medicine that gave people. Long life. Wow, a rabbit that can make medicine. It's amazing. It is. It's a great story about the moon. And we'll learn more about the moon after we take our first break. Folks, don't go away. We'll be back soon. Can the rabbit help me with my headache? Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。同学们应该都有听过嫦娥奔月的故事。那也许你也听过用手指指月亮会被割耳朵的这种说法。我们这两天的课文就是要介绍各国的月亮传说跟迷信，看看月亮在不同的国家代表着什么意义。Jeff 老师刚好用到两个动词 ，signify， 它拼作 s i g n i f y。signify 表示表明、示意或是表达、表示什么什么的意思。那么 symbolize symbolize 它是拼作 s y m b o l i z e， 它表示象征。好，那课文一开始提到，在电灯被发明出来之前呢，人们常常仰赖月亮来作为夜晚的主要光源。这也许就是为什么各地的人都有注意到月亮表面的斑点，然后又想出一些传说来解释。好，文中的 legend， legend 它是当名词，表示传说或是传奇。那单字 rely， rely 是当动词，表示依赖、依靠或是信赖。后面可以接 on 或是 upon， 再接人或事物。那我们也可以用 depend on 或是 depend upon， 后面接人或事物来表达依靠什么、依赖什么。单字例句提到说不要过度依赖他人，那 Jeff 老师就用到 self sufficient 这个复合形容词。self sufficient 是形容自足的，可以自给自足的。其中的 sufficient 它是拼作 s u f f i c i e n t， 它是形容充足的、充分的。好，另外我们要表达照亮，其实可以用 illuminate 这个动词 i l l u m i n a t e illuminate， 它表示照亮、照射。好，那接下来我们来看看中国的月亮传说。月兔的故事呢，最早是出现在两千多年前的古代中国。月兔跟月亮女神嫦娥是住在一起，他们一起捣药，在准备这个长生不死的药。解华课文中。The moon in different cultures. In a Japanese legend, a rabbit generously offered itself to feed a hungry beggar. The beggar was actually the old man of the moon. Touched by the rabbit's kindness, he carried the good creature back to the moon to live with him. Okay, before the break, we learned about a magical rabbit that、mm. once lived on the moon. Still、okay. lives there, maybe. It still lives there. Could still live there. Amazing.、Yeah. Anyways, let's learn some more about rabbits and the moon.、Okay. Get this: in a Japanese legend, a rabbit. Generously offered itself to feed a hungry beggar. Yes, the rabbit offered itself. The rabbit says, "Hey, you're hungry. You're a beggar. You need something. You can eat 
me. That's a very, very kind rabbit. That's very self-sacrificing. And a very strange story. This from the Japanese culture. So yes, we have this rabbit who generously or kindly offered itself to feed a hungry beggar. Well, a beggar might take the rabbit up on the offer because a beggar, this noun, is a person who begs, who asks people to give them things because they have nothing. Often, we might see a beggar living or even sleeping on the streets of a big city. They don't have a job. They don't have a home. They basically have to rely on the kindness of people who walk by or the kindness and help of a charity to get the things that they need. To beg is to ask someone for help when you have nothing. So a beggar is a person who does this for the majority of their day or life. For example, I gave the beggar some coins from my pocket. It was kind. Okay. Not not a rabbit giving itself, but that's, that's, some money is nice. That is pretty nice. Sure. Anyways, this rabbit offers itself mm -hmm. to the beggar. You can eat me if you're hungry. You can take me and eat my delicious body made of delicious rabbit meat. Now, this sounds a little bit strange, but get this. The beggar mm -hmm. wasn't really a beggar. <gasps> The beggar was actually the old man of the moon. The old man of the moon? In the flesh. Wow! I thought the beggar was a French chef. No. He was going to cook that rabbit and make him delicious. No! The beggar was the old man of the moon. Touched by the rabbit's kindness, he carried the good creature back to the moon to live with him. What a kindly old man of the moon. Being touched by the rabbit's kindness means the old man thought the rabbit was so kind to offer his life to feed the, the beggar, the old man, that he basically rewarded the rabbit by taking it to the moon to live with him, I guess, for a long and happy life. They lived happily ever after. The old man of the moon and this rabbit, this creature, that was so kind to him. There you go, and there's the word creature as well. It's a noun. A creature is a living thing, usually an animal or something like that. One note, usually you don't refer to other human beings as being creatures, okay? Creatures are just living things other than human beings. For example, the hunter saw a strange creature that looked like a wolf, so maybe it's a wolf. Maybe it's an animal that kind of looks like a wolf one way or another. It's a creature. Anyways, folks, with that, it's time for us to take another break. But don't go away. We'll be right back after this. Japanese. Japanese 就是形容日本的。那在一个日本传说里面,有一只兔子,它很慷慨地把自己献给一个饥饿的乞丐。这只兔子它自我牺牲，主动要让乞丐吃，来填饱它的肚子。那我们顺便学一下，self-sacrifice，self-sacrifice self -sacrifice 就表示自我牺牲或是献身。那么sacrifice是拼作 s a c r i f i c e。那我们可以用形容词self-sacrificing，self-sacrificing来形容自我牺牲的。好，那这个故事里面的乞丐其实就是月老。月老他被兔子的善行感动，于是就把这个善良的生物带回月球，跟他一起住。也许是当做一种回报吧。刚刚麦克老师用到reward这个字，R-E-W-A-R-D，reward
A legend is kind of like a story or an old myth, something like that. And yes, an old German legend tells of a man who collected firewood on a Sunday instead of going to church. You yeah. must keep holy the Sabbath, everyone. It's true. Back in the old days, you weren't supposed to work or shop or even play sports or games on a Sunday. It was a day for church and maybe a day for family. But collecting firewood, doing work like that could get you in trouble. And that's what happened to this man. He was punished by being sent to the moon. That's a pretty serious punishment. They didn't just lock him in jail or make him say a lot of prayers in church. They sent him to the moon. They punished him by sending him up there. Yes, to punish, this verb, is to make someone undergo a penalty of some kind. Basically, if you break a law and you get caught, you will be punished. If you lie to your teacher or cheat on a test, you could be punished by your parents or by your teachers at school. And of course, if you break a law as an adult, you could be punished by paying a fine or even going to jail. You've done something bad, so then someone else or a group, the law, the government, your parents, teachers, they will do something to you. They will punish you to make you think about and, you know, feel bad for what you did wrong. For example, the teacher punished the noisy students by giving them extra homework. Ooh, that's a popular way mm. for teachers to punish people. We should point out that what they're doing, that noun would be a punishment. So punish with M-E-N-T. Their punishment was to do this extra homework. So there you go. Don't do bad stuff, mm. everyone. Otherwise, you might just get punished. Mm -hmm. All right, more on the German man who was sent to the moon. That is a very strange way to it's punish very, someone. Very strange way. Mm. Now, he, the German guy, mm -hmm. he is said to still be there oh. on the moon, wow. collecting wood every night and serving as a warning to others. Now, really? how he gathers wood on the moon, mm. I have no idea, but still, no, no wood. He, is, he is a good warning to others, a warning telling people not to work on Sunday. Anyways, here we've got the word warning to talk about. It's a noun. A warning is something that tells you about future danger or possible danger that might be coming up. For example, the warning on the bottle said, do not drink. Okay? It might be a bottle of poison. It might have the skull and crossbones on it. And it will also feature a warning say, saying, do not drink. If you drink this, it could make you sick. It could kill you. So don't do that. That's what the warning said. All right, folks, with that, Today's lesson is in the books, and it's time for us to say bye bye. Take care. 下一个要介绍的是德国的月亮传说 ，German。German 就是形容德国的。那有一个古老的德国传说提到说，有一名男子他在星期天收集柴火，他没有去上教堂，结果就受到惩罚，被送到月球去了。这惩罚也太严重了吧！据说他到现在都还在那里，每晚在收集木材。他被拿来当做杀鸡儆猴，当做对别人的警告。好，那文中的 firewood， firewood。它是当名词表示木材，那它是不可数。最后来看两个单字 ，punish，punish， punish, 它是动词表示惩罚、处罚。它的名词是在字尾加上 m e n t 变成 punishment。Punishment 表示处罚、惩罚或是刑罚。那 Mike 老师说的 penalty， 它是拼作 p e n a l t y。penalty 它也有处罚、刑罚的意思。至于 warning， warning 它可以用来指警告，或者是引以为戒的人或事物。那再顺便补充一下，刚刚 Jeff 老师在谈到周日上教堂的时候，他提到 the Sabbath， the Sabbath 就是指安息日，其中的 Sabbath 它是拼作 S A B B A T H。好了，那么以上是今天的讲解，同学们别走开，马上回来哦。大家好，我是 Hanny。在今天的课程中，我们要介绍四个文法重点。
第一个是 That's why 主词加动词的句型。第二个是句型主词 be set to 加原形动词。第三个是分词构句。第四个是 serve as 加上名词。首先，我们来学习 That's why 主词加动词的句型。That's why 主词加动词表示，那就是什么什么的原因，那就是为什么怎么样怎么样。那句型中的 why 是用来引导名词子句当主词补语用。例如 ，He was diagnosed with cancer. That's why he quit smoking. 他被诊断出有癌症，那就是他戒烟的原因。接下来。我们来学习句型主词加上 be set to 加上原形动词。主词加上 be set to 加原形动词，这表示据说怎么样，用被动语态来表达公认或是普遍的说法。例如 ，The espresso here is said to be the best in town。据说这里的意式浓缩咖啡是镇上数一数二的。另外，这个句型也可以用 "It is said" 或是 "It was said" 加上 "that" 子句来改写。像刚刚的例句可以改成 "It is said that the espresso here is the best in town." 接下来，我们来学习分词构句。以对等连接词 "and" 连接两个主词相同的子句时，可以省略 "and" 与其中一个主词，再把动词改成分词。动词是主动的时候就用现在分词，被动的时候就用过去分词。举例来说 ，Greg sat down at the desk and he picked up the receiver. Greg 坐在书桌前并拿起电话听筒。由于前后两个子句的主词相同，我们可以省略连接词 and 以及其中一个主词，像是后半句的 he， 并将后方的主动动词 picked 改成现在分词 picking， 就会形成分词构句。Greg sat down at the desk picking up the receiver. 最后，我们来学习 serve as 加上名词。Serve as 加名词表示用来作为什么或是充当什么。例如 ，coconut oil can serve as a natural moisturizer. 椰子油可以用来作为天然保湿产品。另外 ，serve as 加名词也可以表达担任，像是担任某个职务。例如 ，He served as the organization's advisor in 2008. 他在二零零八年担任那个组织的顾问。以上是今天的重点整理，我们下次见喽 ，See you next time， bye。欢迎收看《就爱讲英文》，我是悠悠，我是季安。夏天特别漫长，真的。最重要的一件事情就是减肥，是的。噔噔噔，对，要维持这种曼妙的好身材。我们今天来跟大家讲一下这个减重减脂。哦，这个很实用，因为大家都爱减肥，都要为了身体健康，嗯、这个可有学问。好，我们先来讲这个瘦身。瘦身，啊、瘦身就是 lose weight， lose weight 啊， lose 就是失去，对不对？失去, okay, 失去重量了。对对， lose weight。OK， 嗯，那还有减脂呢？我要失去脂肪。对，这个比较重要一点哈。我不能说 lose 吗？呃， lose fat， lose fat。一般我们会说 get rid of the fat。哦， get rid of the fat。好，把脂肪给摆脱掉。摆脱掉。Get rid of the fat。好，这个 fat 指的就是脂肪这样。好，那这个摆脱脂肪，看你要哪一个部位，对不对？哦，大腿。好，我们先来讲一下。I like to get rid of the fat around my mid section。I like to get rid of the fat around my 哪里 ？Mid section. Mid section. Mid section 是哪里 ？Mid 就是中间、oh, okay. ，section 就是部位。哦，很像在挑猪肉，有没有？哎，中间这个部位啊，没有啊，中间这个部位就是这边了啊，就是 mid section， 就是有肚子的地方。OK， 还有什么？肚腩 ，mid section。对，肚肚腩哈。然后还有什么？就是大腿。大腿，大腿，女生最。I like to get rid of the fat in between my thighs. Get rid of the fat in between my 
，大家也知道是哪里哈，就是大腿，对这边哈，对，哦，还有走路会撞在一起，有没有？所以要瘦一点，这边还有还有摩擦不行，还有我最需要剪的是什么 ？Under my chin， 哎 ，chin 是哪里？就这里啊。Oh, so sad. I like to get rid of the fat under my chin. Under my chin. 双下巴这一块这样哈，或者是呢，就是肚子这一块有没有？这附近肚脐上下这一块哈。哦，这里。这这边就是 around my belly button. Around my belly button. Belly button 就是这个肚脐啊，所以这一块我想要瘦这一块。I like to get rid of the fat around my belly button. OK， 那如果你要说我瘦了很多，然后你要加瘦多少？多少 ？OK， 那就 lose、okay. 后面加上公斤单位这样。所以呢，我瘦了五公斤，我就说 I've lost five kilograms recently. I've lost five kilograms recently. 对。但是你知道吗？这个有时候减重啊，你就会觉得哎、欸，好像今天没有运动了，吃了一点点，好像又那就会增重了，对不对？啊，啊那。就跟 lose 跟 lose weight 相反，就是 gain weight、嗯。gain weight gain weight 就是你最开心的事情。Oh, 啊，没有，没有人会开心，就是增加获得哈。你也可以用 put on put on 穿上，穿上很多重量。Uh -huh. 穿上很多。I have I have gained a lot of weight. Oh, I've gained a lot of weight. I have put on a lot of weight. 可是你知道吗？变胖的原因常常是爱吃啊，真的。然后懒啊，珍珠奶茶一直吃。Oh, 哦，喜欢喝。那就要少吃，对不对？少吃就是 cut down on something。人生还有什么去乐趣吗？ Cut down on something。Cut down on something。真的，所以呢，这个零食少吃。I have to cut down on snacking。对，他已经难过到讲不出话了。I have to cut down on snacking。对，那这边就是把。点心、零食这个 snack 当成动词来做使用，变成 snacking。I have to cut down on snacking。为了减肥，只好少吃零食。但是我为了健康着想。OK， 那就是因为饮食健康嘛，吃的健康一点，我们可以说对。Be on a diet. Be on a diet. 所以 I am on a diet. I am on a diet. 我正在节食，但我不是因为胖，我是因为胃食道逆流，<笑>好可怜、啊。你火烧身的吗？好，来看今天的 life action。嘿、hey. ， I have gained a lot of weight.、Really? I know, I know. Yeah, I need to lose at least five kilograms. Only five? I really want to get rid of the fat under my chin. See? Yeah. Have you been on the diet? Yes, I have cut down on snacking. You sure? Yes, and it's uh working. <laughs>